Ladies and gentlemen, robots and others, welcome to Monday afternoon, Monday night, Monday evening, whatever the fuck it is, how are we doing? What's cracking, ladies and gentlemen, robots, others, how are we all? Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope things are, ladies and jellyfish, blobfish and others. Um, hola, what's, uh, what's the vibes, folks? You looking buff today? Pff, me? Shucks, you haven't even seen my muscles yet. Uh, how was dinner? It was good. Um, but that was actually lunch that I was making when I left. You know, meal prep stuff. Making a big fuck fucking water San Choy Mao. It's good shit. Uh, never made it before, actually. Really enjoyed cooking it. The merchant shipped. Yo, that's so exciting. Uh, chuffed. 
Uh, evening. What's up, Achilles, man? How are you? Um, Billy Corgan, get the fuck out of here. No, Van Halen's okay. We can do Van Halen. No Billy Corgan today. Um, Achilles, what's cracking, man? How are you? How was your Monday? Um, things are falling down on my desk. Vinny, how was your stream? You have a good stream today. Torn, how was your stream? You have a good stream today. Um, Starry, how are you? What's cracking? Uh, I was getting absolutely flogged today at work. Good times. I'm exhausted. Ready to play Star War. A little bit sick. She. What is it, like a flu? Or like fully sick? Shuck is my dude. Um, you're there for most of it. Yeah, I had you on like mute in a tiny corner of my screen for the majority of the stream of the day, Dinny. I was just trying to mod and stuff like that. Um, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, you're still cooking some meal prep right now chicken rice and veggies probably going to be the only thing falling through my veins soon it's wink I fucking love that little dwarf wink I gotta, I gotta thank Terry again for making that masterpiece um, I hope you don't feel too unwell Achilles my guy um, you don't want to be getting sick on a Monday I feel like you're the only one not getting sick dude. it's going around it's probably because you're not touching grass um, yeah, M, U, M, U, M, knock on wood, yeah, 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 you're just too cool, Tom, honestly, uh, I think that's just what it is, what are we playing today, a Star Wars game, just a cold, you hate being sick, I hate it too, it's, um, it ain't it, being sick, I'm wearing my merch today, Diddy, by the way, I got the merch on, rep, repping the lemon merch, um, love me some lemon merch, um, yeah, so we're gonna play some more Star Wars. I don't know how much more of this. I like, I wanna, I want to finish this game. It just does not perform on the interwebs. Achilles is wearing his too. Ref, so good. Um, I mean, I go to the gym, so I'm not like shutting just Alpha Predator, like the one from the show, that, like that one. Yeah, Rep Plus. Um, yeah, I, Star Wars kind of shit on, on, uh, on Twitch. I was thinking maybe playing God of War. I have to hook up the PlayStation Four. Do it. Wouldn't be too hard. I can just Elgato that nonsense. But uh, I could play. I could play uh, God of War if people wanted me to play that instead of this. Little tubes, thank you. Cooking stream contribution. Twenty thousand points has come from you yourself, little tubes. Um, that's very cool. Tallest, 22,000 points, one-upping tubes death. Uh, yeah, would you guys be interested in me playing God of War? I don't know if it's relevant anymore. Um, Gillies, 10,000 points. Thank you very much. I've just spilled lemonade on me. Bet. Maybe finishing getting good. Yeah, I reckon that's the plan. Dinny, thank you, thank you for the 4K points. Xbox time. Van Halen, shut up. Uh, poor? No, no, no. It's okay. Don't worry. Audio. Video game. Audio on today. Star War time. Um, yeah. So maybe that... I, I don't know how... Has, some of you guys have played this, I think. I, I wouldn't mind someone telling me roughly how far through the game I am. Because I wanted to Google it, but I didn't want to, like, spoil it and be like, Oh yeah, you're 30 seconds away from fighting Darth Vader! And, like, I don't want to, like, ruin the shit for me, so I didn't Google it. Um, but if someone does know roughly where I am, you'll figure it out. Tauntless, I love your work. Um, you're my favorite deputy. Denny, bro, that's okay. Um, uh, you don't have to play. I'm playing it for you. I'm here, Tauntless. Can you figure out where I am, please? Um, I actually do not recall anything about what the hell I was doing just last time. Uh, Potentious, you beautiful so The host alert worked, finally. Oh, the host alert hasn't worked in months. I couldn't get it work. Hey, there it goes again. I couldn't get that working. I could only get the text into the chat. And then now I finally got it work. Chuffed. Chuffed. Oh, it was this fucking shit fire. Thank you for the host, guys. Love it. Um, Dean, Torn, and Pete. Pete, how are you, you lovely sausage? I've forgotten how to play, as per usual. 
Uh, look, I can flex 20. No dramas, Pete. Just gonna. Uh, the, the game audio is too loud, isn't it? Um. One sec, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, got some juicy stuff on the throne. Yeah, yeah, we updated the throne wish list. Not that I expect or want really necessarily anyone to buy it. I'm kind of using it more like a uh, shopping list for myself, to be honest. Um. Sorry, Lemon's taking a photo of me, presumably for the Instagram. Um, you have Spotify. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Songify. Yeah, because you're having some trouble with that. You're literally halfway through the game. All right. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll carry on. Set up, but I wasn't working, so I sort of thought I did something wrong. Yeah, yeah. I updated the throne wish list because, like, I wanted to just, like, put on some records there that I wanted to get. Uh, it's more literally just a shopping list for myself more than anything else. Well, myself and Lemon. Um, uh, it's always running. Watch out for that, because people could redeem shit when you're not streaming. Ooh, you don't want that. That happened to us, um, back in the days of using the old Streamlabs one. Uh, people would redeem shit that had, like, naughty, naughtiness in it. And you wouldn't want that. Apparently I did that. I don't remember how I did that, though, really. Um, yeah. I might, I might set up the... Songify or whatever the fuck it is as well myself. Jesus, it really set me far back here. I did all of this. Oh, I got goaded. I have been goaded. Oh, he's goading me hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Where does this clip on to? Oh, it's down there, isn't it? God damn it. Um, no, is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did someone, did someone pull it? Did someone try and do that to you, didn't he? They tried to redeem, um, Poopy Poopy Butthole, the song, or something, uh, before you streamed. Someone could play WAP while I'm listening to, uh, the, <laughs> what the fuck is, the Chromosaur by Martin Greens and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Yeah, someone could do that. You wouldn't want someone to, <laughs> uh, to, to play WAP on your stream, Thomas. Whoever would do that, ban them straight away, I reckon. I reckon. Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, how was everyone's weekend? You've been listening, dude, I listen to classical music, like, almost every day. To help me write. It's, like, the best. It's the best for writing. Yo! Um, pretty sure it was just because I didn't have it running. Always has to be on. Yeah, it's like the mix-up bot that we're using for the host alerts. That's always got to be running too. Uh, huge thanks to Potentious Terry and Zug for showing me that bot, by the way. You can actually get hosts working. Host alerts working again. Because for some reason, Twitch cucked everyone's host alerts. I don't know why they did. I mean, I do, but stupid. Not the social mood right now. That's okay. You have a great night. Stay safe uh, and enjoy. No worries. You recharge the social batteries and, uh, and all that sort of jazz. Did I do it? Down it goes. It's marble time, baby. Um. Oh god. Oh god. In it goes. Boost. <laughs> Boost. 6-9, uh, target, tauntless, owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've just, we've made this thing, we're back to where we were. Boost for the Fire and cocoa. Whoop de boo Whoop de boop Boop, 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 boo. Boop de boop Boop, 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 boo. I have finally found an intact representation of this. Alright, we're gonna listen to, um, Amadeus Mozart, or whatever his name is. Uh, Cordova. You're such a poet? Thanks, man. Uh, I'm a poet and I didn't even realize. Um, out, guys, the weekend has just passed, or is nearly passed for some of you. What happened? Tell me about your weekend. Told us, what did you get up to? Jim Alpha, Predator Boy. Uh, Dinny, how was your weekend? You went to the beach or something? Uh, Achilles feeling unwell, partying too hard out there um, with all the hip young cool kids of Sydney. Not us. 
I don't hate the way y'all. Oh, cool. Me neither. You vlogged? Where'd you go this time? Is that is there a new vid up or is that coming soon? Looks like we know what we have to find. Dinny bra visits Obama's house vlog. Can we get that please? Had a lot of streams? Yes. Oh, everything is connected. Achievement. Uh came into work. E work. I'll be on a farm. What's kind of exciting unless it's not. Um, been fucking doing assignments. We don't share the next couple of weeks though, because everyone is born. Oh, is it like the birth? It's birthday period, isn't it? Everyone's everyone's being birthdayed. Yo, new abilities. Um, I can't afford any of them. I can do this one and this one up here. It performs a special attack while switching his lightsaber. You've not studied enough. What's your next exam, Dinny? Is it like, uh, how to be cool, a lot, uh, 101. Getting sick is allowing me to stay home and unwind for a bit. That's, yeah, honestly, sometimes that's kind of good. That's not, that doesn't seem like a special attack. Wed? Your next exam's on Wednesday. What's the topic? I mean, unless, unless you don't want to tell. I don't know why you want to people are prisons. Um... What are you talking about? Oh, Yeds? The hell is Yeds? Yeah, eggs, dude. So. Always fucking winding. I don't think winding the... Sometimes I feel like that unironically. But like... Like, I wish I could unwind a bit more. Should be wild. Sometimes. Oh, I gotta pull that. Uh-huh. Yeah, can I pull it while running? That's kind of- that's pretty Jedi. Uh, unwinding- the unwinding, it does exist. Um, alright, watch me- watch me fucking, like, I don't know, some kind of move on this guy. Yeah, I did it. I did the move. Swish, smooth, flashy, everything. Zoop. Sausage roll, Joel. Big as dick as what's cracking. Um. Alas, I return to work, so the rest is short lived. Well, not if you're sick. Yeah. I mean, unless you unless you want to. For a good cause, right? So yeah, yeah. You can't act like you're the only unwind to sleep. Sometimes you need to be awake to unwind. You know. Sometimes, like, it's good to just sit down and watch Lord of the Rings R Ring of Power and realize, wow, Peter Jackson really did good, didn't he? You're watching Archer? I've never seen that, but I've heard good things. One, does no one not get fired for being sick? Oh, you tell me. I've never had a joke. What did this, what did it tell me to do? We need to get back. I, am I just patting him? Uh, mm. I'm sure if Achilles was like, hey, yo, boss man, I'm like up the wazoo with the flu, he'd be like, yeah, no, nah, all good, brother. Stay home. Unless you got a shit boss, I've had them. Seems like we've been walking into a lot of them lately. You miss enough days, yeah, but if you're sick, like, you we're in a literal era of pandemics and shit. If your boss doesn't accept that, then slap him. You have my permission to slap your boss. You can tell, you can tell your boss you have my permission to slap him. Return to the Mantis. I love how the map works when I'm in the wall. How do I return to Mantis? Where where even is the Mantis? Uh, got bit by monkey, can't come in? Yeah, legit. Oh, man, really? This is not... This does not feel efficient, but okay. We'll, we'll find the way. I'm assuming I'll be well enough for work tomorrow, but fully prepared to cancel tomorrow morning. That looks like a thing I can pull it. I did it, Mom. Uh, I reckon I could. Okay, do I have to go this way? No monkey? No monkey used to die. I, I... I guess I just... Can you not just force boost up or fly? I don't think I've... I don't think I've unlocked force boosting or flying. Andrew. I'll try my best next time. I can make this guy force fly. Oh, maybe not. 
I'm gonna shoot. Why, like, why announce? Get out, idiot. Big dumb, big dumb boy. You know, Peter Pan shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Peter Pan was a Jedi. Alright. Man, man had the ability. Did any of you all see that, the, the Hook film? It was from like 96 or something, with uh, Robin Williams as uh, aging Peter Pan, Darth Pan. Did anyone see that film, Hook? Um, that shit was good. People, people don't like that film. I think that's a great film. Hmm. Uh, you know, Hook with, with Robin Williams. It's like 96 or some shit. Quite, it's a, fa a relatively old film. I say that because it's the same age as me, I guess. Um, I, I grew up on watching that film. It was the only Peter Pan film I have. I've, in fact, it may still only be the only Peter Pan film I've ever seen. Um, and it's, uh, I really like that film. I need to watch it again. It's been a while. Uh, I believe it works like kind of a Viking King. You'll kill your boss, become the new boss. I think you might be right. Dude's just whacking me into a fan. Get out of here. Ugh. Juice me up. I've forgotten how to block. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's block. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I wish I wish um, jobs actually worked that way. Because I could be like to my manager, like I challenge you to like a duel, and like my manager's like fucking. Like 52 years old, like frail as fuck. I could probably just like left, right, good night, there you go. Easy. You know, and then I'm the manager. Like, why is this not the system we use? I think you're onto something, Mega Stickers. Um, pretty sure that's how the Romans did it. Speaking of. Uh, take a quick sip of Milo. I'm juiced up for his men, 100 kilometers, max 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, you, you did great. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like six foot four, you know, like my manager's like five foot six. I can, I can, I can, I can juice that motherfucker pretty easy, I reckon. Um, can I get up here or have I just sort of goofed to myself? No, I can get this way. Okay. Man, look, I would take Milo, but that's Nestle. Fuck those guys, you know what I'm saying? Yo, force boost, I did it. I'm juiced up, gross, six foot four times. What the fuck? This guy's name is Bing! Bing! Oh, is this a bounty hunter? Have they sent a bounty up? Bing! Surely they could have come up with a better name than Bing. Yo, dude just shot a fucking zap trap on me butt. Look at me go. Did you see that? Did you fucking fly using a flamethrower? Dude, I don't know, Star Wars. Oh, that was meant to happen. Oh! Bing was meant to get me. Dude, I could have easily aced Bing. I hit him twice and he was on 50% health. Oh no, they got PD. Whoop, whoop. I'm a gladiator now. Alright, that was a weird thing. Like, I would have thought that would have been like a cutscene or something. Right. Dude, he's clearly not here. I've clearly been captured by Big. No, that ain't it. It's not just burst through the. Okay. No. Okay, I've got to do something. Oh, has no one. Something back there. Something. Can I? Can I? Can I do something with it? No. Whoever locked me up took my lightsaber. Gotta get it back. Am I just like? You sure I'm just busting through the door here? Okay. Uh, this feels like something I need to like. Oh. Oh. Plonk. I'm gonna use this. Bro, that's not even. Con that's not even connected. It's not angles. Okay, I I've made it. Oh, what a convenient prison system for my people to, you know. 
Like, how is this an efficient person? Anyway, is that be double Yeah, I reckon. I reckon my favorite Star Wars character, be double bull. Uh, you know, put a goat in a prison. Because, why not? Okay, they've... They've kept numerous goats in this prison. For some unknown reason. And, and giant box. Um, look. I'm not going to say they didn't have enough character models to put in actual prison, but I feel like they may not have had enough character models. Uh, Chris Raptor first was using his bread as a game Lisa, that sounds incredible. Also, hi Lisa, how are you going? Uh, been a while, what's cracking? Hope you're doing well. Um, that sounds really quite good, actually, Lisa. Uh, I'm going to pass that idea on to my... She's going to be like, holy fuck, that's brilliant. That's the Billy Goat's Gruff off their ice rampage. Reminds me of Force Unleashed. Force, I'm going to say it now, biggest dickus. I think Force Unleashed is a better game. I think Force Unleashed is a better Star Wars game than this. Okay, this one doesn't reach. Um, Force Unleashed whilst old, uh, um, felt more like you're an actual, I mean, like, you're, what's his face, Star Killer? The dude can't be stopped. Cal Cestus here kind of feels just like, he feels like you're a Padawan, you know what I mean? Force Unleashed was, was really good. I never played the second, but I wanted to. I think I have it. Also, the puzzles in this game are kind of shit. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're arguably the worst part of this game. Like, there's nothing clear about these puzzles. Imagine a sandwich where you can marinate your bread to your liking every time. I'm in love. That really does sound fucking good. Um, can I get in there through one of these? That sounds awesome, Lisa. How did you discover this, um, this Marvel, we'll call it? Was this, like, some sort of, like, TikTok recipe you scrubbed, found on, like, your For You page or something like that? Starkiller? Galen Marith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they used to call me in high school. Um, okay. Is there something I can interact with here? Okay, well this, this is unplugged, but I doubt it reaches, oh no, it reaches over here. Okay. Come here, you. Plug that in. I did something. Yep, I, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Starkiller was like OP as fuck. How many, uh, well, I believe I'm about halfway through the game. I don't know my exact hour count, uh, Lisa, but I believe I'm about halfway through. Uh, uh. As per what what Thomas has said to me, um, it would be unfortunate to name Galen. Let's see if I, can find I actually do know again, and he's he's pretty he's a pretty cool chap. Um, but like, you, we good? We good? Feels like I'm being watched. Yeah, I wonder why it feels like I'm being watched. It's not the giant fucking camera droid above me. Man, they've got Olgo Bogo in a cave. This shit's wild. Um, it's not even Olgo Bogo. Oh, they got these, like, ugh, maggot boys. Um, yeah, about halfway. I think this is probably maybe uh, six to eight hours into the game, Lisa. Have you played this before? This is my first time playing. Um, and I spent the whole time discussing other Star Wars um, things instead of this because... Um, that's just what happens. Uh, then you get some sleep. You've, you've had a big day. Never, they haven't even watched the trailer? No, that's fair. That's fair. I could go that way, I reckon. Oh, there's a plug there. Where could this possibly plug into? Then he works in eight hours. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. You need the you need the big rests. There it goes. Man, they've never quite figured out rope physics in this game. In these games, have they? Uh, also, wait. I heard I heard my boy. BD, BD one, is that you? I found you. Do they really put BD in a cell of his own and not just like a box? Get you out of there. They couldn't just like plug him into a box. It doesn't open that. Okay. Uh, Tomb Raider, Lisa. I would say Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. 
This, this is essentially a reskin of like the new Tomb Raider games, the new word Tomb Raider games. They're not that new anymore. Um, there's probably better comparisons. No worries, Dinny. You got some good sleep. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you at some point in the future. Okay, there's nothing in here. Good night. God night. The sequel. Okay, okay thanks. Are you interested in playing it or something, or are you just like curious? Yee yee. Okay, I don't know. I think I didn't. I never played the third. Why is like? Surely I. I was gonna say surely I don't just like force freeze these falling idiots and then like. I don't know. Do something with them like that. Is there somewhere I can plug into here? How far back does this go? Not that far. Definitely memorable mission. It sounds pretty sick. I just, uh, the thing I remember most about, um, Force Unleashed, there's like three bits I remember, and I think they're all fairly close together. The first one is the, the opening sequence where you play as Vader on Kashyyyk. Um, that is the, like, single-handedly, that's like the best, I don't know, 20 minutes of a Star Wars game, that tutorial section, where you were just like, literally so OP. Uh, can I, like, drop down from here? No. Uh, and then the next bit is you're fighting, I think it's, like, the first, um, like the first Jedi you go and kill or something, the first Sith or something, I can't remember what it is. And it's, like, this big, like, battle kind of in space or in, like, a tower of glass or something. That's sick. That bit was very cool. Uh, and then there's, like, a planet where some dude is, like, using the Force to, like, manipulate bits of trash and use them as, like, droids or some shit. I remember that. This feels like something I need to break off. Missing. Oh, really? Can I just jump down here? I can. Okay. Oh, no! It's those little monkey men. Now I'm stuck down here. Um, I need to play Force Unleashed again. It's been a while. Oh, fuck me. Seriously? Have I just... Have I just completely, like... Oh, I can swing on this. Okay. Okay. I should have introduced that mechanic. Now I plug that into it. Right. Well, accidents lead to... Uh, discovery. This is going to be a trap or something. Hey! Oh, I'm happy to see you too. Is it a trap? Get that restraining bolt off the deal. Jerks. Yeah, these rude, rude, rude jerks. Alright, now I just need my lightsaber. And then I'll be good to go. Let's get out of here before the same happens to us. Yes, I don't want to be turned into a droid. Hey, it's like that dude. That guy there. He's from Star Wars 1. Escape the underground jet. Help me out, BD. Slice that shit. Someone got captured. Hello, hello. What's up, Bud Rock? Uh, how you doing? I got my little boy BD1 back. I want to fight Bing. Bing the bounty hunter. He's my favorite. Get in there. Oh. I don't want to be here again. I hate this place. Can I plug this into here and then oh that needs power too okay but uh, how do I do that you plug in here this plugs up this guy And then what this guy plugs. I mean, this is what it was before, right? So, being in his accomplice safari, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Their arch nemesis, Duck Duck Go. Uh, um, okay. Um, like I'm assuming this is like an L. Sure, give me a useless fucking hint. But I think the power still needs to be on. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yes, the brilliant hits. They, they are honestly the most, like when it first showed up as a thing, I was like, okay, cool. Like, I like that. And then when I realized the hints are completely fucking useless in this game, um, I thought, you know what? You know why those hints exist? Because the puzzles are poorly, poorly constructed. That's why they exist. Uh, look, I'm writing on the game. I am enjoying it. Recent science discovery. Uh, Lisa, good call. Um, using the James Webb Space Telescope. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, they have confirmed carbon dioxide on an exoplanet. Like, proper confirmed for the first time. Thanks for the cooking stream contribution. Um, which suggests suggests a lot of things, but the carbon dioxide needs to be, um, like, as a gas or whatever. If I remember this correctly, I might be wrong. Um, Temperature-wise, means the planet is likely in the habitable zone. Carbon dioxide might suggest the presence of something like us. Probably not, though, because carbon dioxide also just exists without life. But, you know, it's kind of cool. Um... It's kind of cool. Are these both going? All right, let's go. There's a, there's a science fact. Um, pretentious, thank you. Ooh, that's wild. I can give you another one. Um, hear that? Sounds like someone is home after all. Someone is home. With the aliens expansion coming um, tomorrow. What about God's plan? Um, God. Hey, I recognize this band. Oh, this is the hoop. These guys are sick. Like in real life, they're like a Mongolian death metal band. Um, because they're depressing, so hit me with world updates. Okay. Um, while we have a moment of quiet from that. Uh, the Artemis 1 space mission, uh, was delayed. It was supposed to launch, like, two days ago. Um, there's a fuel leak or something. But, we will, if this succeeds, have people on the moon again in two years' time, which is... Very exciting for me. Um, and obviously them, not just me, but probably a lot of other people. Um, and it will be, um, why though, to put people on the moon? Because um, I'm somewhat some news hound myself. So the arguments for the sake of the moon is if, let's look at the space race, you see how much technology came out of that? It's just innovation for the sake of innovation. We got things like GPS, everything we have technology-wise is based on technology from the space race, essentially. Doing something like that again, very cool. Secondly, getting people on the moon, also very cool. Thirdly, uh, building the, the basis of a potential settlement on slash around the moon, even cooler. And the reason I personally think this is important, the moon without the magnetic field gets a nice dosing of helium-3 from the sun. Helium-3, because therefore being essentially an inexhaustible supply, is a really, 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 well, not simple, but simple way to create fusion energy, which would basically mean infinite power, as long as we can get back and forth from the moon. I don't know. That's kind of cool to me. Um, also, you know, we're probably going to blow this planet up. If we want people to live, we should, you know, put them elsewhere. I don't know. Um... How do you think the potential risk of solar rays impacting computers on the moon, though? It's incredibly rare on Earth, but there's no atmosphere up there. It's actually got nothing to do with the atmosphere. It's to do with the magnetic field. Magnetic field is what stops us getting fucked by solar radiation, which, by the way, we're supposed to get hit by one soon. Uh, somewhere between a magnitude C and a magnitude X. So, in other words, somewhere between a nice aurora borealis or complete annihilation of technology. Very small chance. Uh, Mars is way cooler than the moon. I actually think Venus is better. Um, because that's where Boise is. No. <laughs> um, I actually don't know the answer for that, Lisa. I would imagine that, uh, I think that uh, the moon is still within Earth's magnetic field. So I think it is protected. But in all honesty, the moon is, like, tidally locked with, uh, yeah, yeah, bit flipping, bit flipping. Um, I've fallen out of water. What's up, Obsidian, right? Um, I think with uh, the bit flipping and the magnetic uh, storm stuff, I think the Earth is still protecting the moon with its magnetic field, I think. Someone fact-check me. Uh, if not, we're probably just going to have to encase shit in a lead box. 
and just How's roll with it going? that way. How's it going, Kentia? Yeah, Charming Devil, welcome in. We're just talking about the moon uh, and the Artemis One rocket and such things. Uh, like at least on the topic of bit flipping, you know that there's a guy who uh, run has the it's a it's a world record speed run for one of the Mario games. The only reason he got it is because a cosmic ray hit his NES and flipped an integer and sent him to the end of the game from the start. Um, so there's a fun fact for you. The whole planet that looks like Western Australia, the in the in the can. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a real good little fact. I like and he still holds the record, I think, because how do you how do you beat a cosmic interference? Hey Hype, what's up? Uh Kenty, I don't know this I, I do know the song, I don't know the lyrics. I will need another one. But thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Let me just shout you out. Um I mean I'm pretty sure everyone here knows you, Kentia. What a lovely background. Jesus! I've seen you around. How are you? What is cracking? Where have I seen you? I've seen you many places, I think. Uh, but where are you? How are you going? Um, can't tell you're playing Cult of the Lamb. How is it going? The redesign looks good. Thank you, Plain Light. Yes, we are in a new place. Um, thank you for the following business. Uh, please just ignore Elon Musk's face. How, okay, hang on. How do, I, how do I cover him up? I'm having trouble here trying to figure out the mirror. The middle, no, you know what? Just pretend he's not there. You're everywhere, Beezus? No works. That's good to know. Uh, thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing uh, extravagantly. I need to do a raid dance for our friend Kentiar. Kentiar, I need a song, one that isn't I'm going slightly mad, because even though I might be, I am lacking the lyrics. It is something productive for my birthday. Happy birthday, by the way. It is Kentiar's birthday, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, I had it tattooed on my arm, so I remember. Did something productive for my birthday, some stuff in my Minecraft realm, then Cult of the Lamb, kept my Withers, Withers Way followers quite happy. Very good. Radio Gaga, I think I did that one last time, but I could do it again. Just for you. Business. Uh, thank you, Todd. I need, I need to go and get one of my heads. Back with the beans and mash. Alright, let me go and get one of my heads. Radio Gaga was one of three options. Excellent. Let me go get my head. <clears throat> um, how does it go again? All we need is Radio Gaga, Radio Gaga, Radio Gaga. All we hear is Radio Gaga, Radio Gaga. Radio, what's new? I hope I'm in the camera and I'm not just like off camera singing this and you guys can't see. I think I'm in the right spot. Someone still loves you. It's Thomas. He loves you. Um, anyway, I hope you guys... That's for you, Katia. My eye is getting slowly crushed by this thing. <laughs> Let me get this off. Yeah. Um, what's cracking, ladies and gentlemen? Katia. You did some good shit in your stream. Um, that is good to hear. Happy birthday, young fella, young whippersnapper. Um, what did you get for your birthday? I hope you were spoiled. I hope you got the... For that! What's cracking? Thank you for the follow. Uh, charming devil. Welcome in. Young... You want super dude? Fuck, I have to get up again, Freda. I really should bring super dude uh, back over towards here. Give me a sec. Oh, that's cracking. I'm back. We don't speak of that here. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, that's so cute. Yeah, he's a little... He's, he's a little month of Minecraft sheep. But look at his head. It's so long. <laughs> this is our little mascot, I guess. He's, um... He's a silly boy. And I've just screwed up his little ears, but whatever. The sheep is fucked, but we love him. Um, let me catch up on chat. Young, I'm literally older than you. Hello, non-Romanian matchmaker. Um, I knew I'd have seen him somewhere. I uh, got the blessings of Greg. I'm old Greg. Um, anyway, Fredag, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Superdude's wife as well. His neck. 
Monkey sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get the wife as well. I'm gonna go get the wife. Sheep is fucked, we love him. Um, Super Dude went through a bit of a phase where he grew his... His wife is a lot bigger. Uh, she's like huge in size by comparison. Uh, she still hasn't found her voice yet. But, um, I mean, if you want a size comparison, Super Dude is very small. <laughs> uh, he wears the little thing because his wife wants him to. She's a bit pushy. She's a bit rude. Um, but I like him. Yeah, legit, Lisa. Super Dude sings that quite a lot. Um, Super Dude likes tall. He's into Amazons. He likes his mummy muscle. That's what he likes. Uh, got no presents because they want me. No positive feelings about the day of my birth. I'm a cynical individual. Well, I hope uh, negative feelings towards your birthday aside that your day was enjoyable. Um, size wife equals size dude. Super dude giga chat. He is a giga chat. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back into Star Wars because uh, that's what we're all not here for. Uh, we are playing Star Wars. This is the game... I'm about to get ganked by Bing, I suspect. I don't have my lightsaber, so this is only going to go well. You had a good stream, that's enough? That's that's good, that's good. Hey, this is kind of cool. Who's this guy? Giga down bad? Sork Tormo. Remember Ogo? Dude, am I about to get like six Ogos in a row? Uh, guy looks like Abraham Lincoln. He does have a bit of a space Lincoln vibe. He's a bit more fabulous, though. Who's Greasy Forearms? Please be Ogo Bogo. Um, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have just joined uh, and may not or may or may not be aware of my existence, uh, my name is Chili. I'm one half incompetently competent. We're a duo stream, but today is my solo stream. Lemon. My beloved counterpart uh, will be joining us tomorrow and the day after. For some... When did I get my lightsaber back? Oh my god, it's Ogo... You were right, it's Ogo Pogo. I was actually not expecting Ogo Bogo to show up. No, don't tell me there's two Ogo Bogos. Okay, no, they're bugs. Yo. Um, you were, you were not kidding. When you said I'm a gladiator, oh, I, I guess you were shadowing my eventual gladiator. Okay, I got Ogo Logo. I'm out of, I don't actually have any, like, health juice. Now that's a whippersnapper. Hang on, it might be time for the dual swords. Oh! Is this it for the Jedi? Oh! Okay. Now that's a cane toad. I'm not. Did you not rest the meditation thing? No, Adwa. Um, did you expect me to do something sensible? That's on you. Uh, that may be a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Hey, man, to be the case, shit. May have been a mistake. All right, who's coming out now? Bing. I'll go, I'll go too. Right. My day is okay. You're right. It's not like um. Was that The Last Jedi? He said The Last Jedi. My god, it's Star Wars, The Last Jedi. But uh, where's my one? Uh, but I believe you're going to one-shot the whole arena. <laughs> uh, that was the warm-up. Guys, I got a new water bottle. Check this out. I said check this out. Um, look at the size of this fucking thing. It's, it's huge. And it's so good. Watch me drink out of this water bottle. It's fucking weird. Efficiency. Two liters, I think it is. I was saying 1.9. 1.9 liters of hydration. You can slap a bitch with that. It's huge. Honk and large. Now, that's what they used to call me in high school. But yeah, dude, $7.50 from Kmart. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Um, Honk and Light, you second this? Jesus, how are you? What's up? Tell me something about yourself. Tell me a funny anecdote. See, I don't have my lightsaber with me right now. 
It is not on my purse. Where did that come from? Oh god, it's Argo Bogo already. I was not... Okay, at least I have to go through the hole. I can't see anything. Hang on, hang on. Uh, thoughts are developing. What's this? Yeah. Fight the frog with the bug. Yeah. Uh, they give it back in the fire. Let's see. That's, I don't care what universe you're from, that's gonna hurt. Get out of here. Uh, I'm so happy to myself a clean canteen bottle. They go in the wash, it makes dolphin noises. What? What do you mean it makes dolphin noises? Like when you drink it, it goes like. <laughs> um, my squirter was 20 bucks, but I love that bottle with all my heart. I key. I don't know what that means. They give back the fight, makes, makes sense. Dang, still on three stems. I'm just that good. Uh, excellent imitation. So when you drink out of it, it makes the noise. Is that not annoying at all? I mean, look. Pretty strong, my guy. Oh my god, I hate this guy. Uh, incredibly annoying, but in like the best kind of way. Right? I like how, okay, look, from a pure, pure bio biology standpoint, oh my god, pure biology standpoint, they've got all these bugs and animals. Oh my god, scrumpy dumpies here as well, fuck, no. Like, why aren't these guys fighting each other? Yup, okay, hang on. Yeah, it's basically, this is like going out in the outback, you know? You've got Scrumpy Dumpy here, and uh, the classic funnel web spider. Oh man, Scrumpy Dumpy just fucking kicked me in the gooch. Ooh, not it. Alright, Scrumpy's dead. Let me catch up and chat. You got one of those bottles that road bikers use. I guess it doesn't valve check me every square, it's square every square. Oh, okay, very cool. Very cool. Look expensive too, you know. I would love to see like a video of this or something. That would be incredible. Or like a link. If you have a link to like the product, let me know and I'll permit you, or I'll get taught to permit you. You can post it. I'll take a look at this online, because I'm intrigued. Some fancy bottle stuff there. Yeah, that's some pretty high-tech shit. Um, community challenge, 50% for the cooking stream. Hard work, Kenzie, I thank you so much. Scrumby Bumpy. Oh my god, Australian Warfare fight. I know, right? 150k on the cooking stream. Guys, we're, we're going to have it, like, three weeks after. That was my baby, dude. You birthed that? That's crazy. Uh, I certainly would have. Uh, Hyperbolico, thank you, my guy. Um, I gotta like, I gotta say, I'm enjoying the Who soundtrack. Oh man, Scrumpy Bumpy's spidery cousin's gonna get me here. Uh, I'm not sure where the dolphin is. Got him, got him, Elf. I was like, yeah, okay, hang on, let me think of this. Bezos, thank you for the. Uh, Insulated TK wide. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen these things. Yeah, 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 and no, they're very cool, very cool. That's some high-tech water bottle stuff there. Uh, not sure what the dolphin is. It's okay. Find something. Is that everything? Oh, I love that song by Frank Sinatra. You know is it Bing and Bong? Please. What the fuck are the hacks in Brute? I haven't been paying attention. Oh, it is Bing! Yes! I love this guy. I mean, I don't know. He's not that interesting. He's just like a shitty version of Boba Fett, who is already fairly shitty, I must declare. Were you expecting me not to, big fella? Yeah. Food is cooking me. That's okay. Just look at the price. Yeah, that's wild. Probably production fault in the silicon stopper air. Oh! I was thinking it was designed to do that, and I was really intrigued. <laughs> you had me thinking that, like, you bought this bottle. Like, you know those... I don't know if you've seen them. I think they're, like, um, like Native South American or something. I can't remember. 
but they're these like um, animal pots or whatever, right? Um, and like you can put your thumb on it, you tilt them with water, and they sound like a bird or something. I thought it was like that, but a dolphin, and it's a water bottle. And I was like, I, I was gonna buy one. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> now, I've, now I've been lied to by accident. Hello, Lucky, by the way. Explain why later. Is that just because being steady metal bottles most of for climbers, you can bonk them? Hell. Okay. Oh, I just have to fight Bing. Easy. Yo. Oh. Bing's got his flamethrower out. Sorry, I have flamethrower out. You probably will. Okay, Bing, Bing does not have that much health. Not gonna lie to you. Get wrecked. Bing, Bing's long and gone. Severely disappointing news? I know. Hang on, let me look at this thing. Um, Bing Bang. Um, Peruvian Inca Wind Instruments. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys check that shit out. They're fucking cool. Um, what nicely done? What what were you saying before I walk? I'm like super lucky about something. What do you mean, Flash Gordon approaching? I mean, there's very clearly an escape right here. My boy's literally insane. Easy. Bunch of different enemies that can capture you. Show up in the arena. Some of the common so it's not just Bing, so if I played it again, I might get like taken out by Bong, is that what you're saying? On the flip side, good news is you never lose me at a festival, just follow the Dolphin noises. Where's Lisa? <laughs> oh, a fat guy in a droid, a two elite command. Oh, okay. I just got Bing. This guy's sus. Bing Bong. Oh, a fat guy. Bong and his boy and droid body smasher, for example. Oh, okay. I got lucky. Maybe it realized because I only have three stims. It was like, we're not going to throw you into an impossible fight. And I had a nice chat with the second sister, Trilla. Oh my god, she knows who Trilla is, doesn't she? Oh no, not Bong. We're not ready for Bong. Did she tell you? She told me. Bong's too powerful. She told me you betrayed her to the Empire. Is it true? She'll say anything to jeopardize this. I don't trust this. I don't trust this lady. I don't trust like that. Look at her. She was my apprentice. She sus as fuck. For the purge. You should have told me. We're getting an encrypted message from Kashyyyk. Shut up, Grace. No one's interested. Um, not Bo Yeah, no, no, no. Bong's too powerful. Man. Really, like, space us out a bit. Mari. Cal. We found Tarkov. Uh, her eyes just fucked up, man. I feel like you're in a museum. I bought it. Yeah, I know. They're very beady, aren't they? She's got very beady eyes. It's not just me, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, have joined the Wookiee fighters in the forest. She do, she do got them, I mean, look at them, you can see, they're the most pronounced thing in the room. <laughs> um, what she reminds, she reminds me of like, uh, what are they? I can't remember what they're fucking called. They got the big eyes. Got the big eyes, the bug eyes. Talking about, yeah, 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 Cher, yeah, she reminds me of Cher. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm talking. Grease, why are you looming over the top of me? Can we talk? We talk? Alright, what's up, monkey man? Talk? I don't know what's going on between you and her. I did not let you sit in my bed. She scares me. She's definitely up to something. She's like Darth Vader's like, business. Right, this is like shit. I think it's my business. And we're all in this together, aren't we? Oh no, Grease is having a heart to heart. Hey, Cal. Um no, nah, her eyes are her eyes are genuinely scary. You put those eyes on anyone, they're terrifying. Also, I gotta say, I love Grease's mutton chops. I mean, we all make mistakes, right? Oh no. What have you done, Grease? You're about to admit something? Hey, why are you oh, small lucky man? Slacks. I'm not saying do it for me, but you two are the best thing that ever happened in my life. Is this your just creepy uncle? Kinda, I guess. I don't know what he is. You know, they kind of made this dude up. For this game. They have to be in plants. I mean, fill them with a check though. Yeah, give him a squeeze. Giving Gek vibes? 
Yes, actually. Except they have four arms. But you're right. These guys are a bit geck-like. Um, Grease has four arms. Yeah, yeah. Now it's different. Man, I wish I could have four arms. That'd be pretty useful. Where's my Giga bottle? It's got a handle on everything. Good old Grease. Um, yeah, he do be a bit geck like, doesn't he? Okay, where are we heading to? Around a time and making a bike from the 1800s? Yes. Uh, where do I need to go? Kashyyyk. I guess we can go to Kashyyyk. Um, is this Wookiee? Yeah, yeah, another Wookiee movement. We get to go and see the Harry Carpet Man. Looking forward to it. Looking forward. I love the Wookiees. They look like shit in this game. <laughs> they really look. They really look bad. They remind me of Gary's mod, but like Gary's mod nine, like the really early one that was still a Half Life two mod, not an independent separate game. Ooh, uh, ooh. Um, clearly you've not seen our sensitive social media Um, I'm just gonna start people who call themselves Wookiees now. Um. You can't just be racist against eyes. I didn't even see that message. Harry Covenant? Oh, Harry Carpet Man, but also Covenant. That could work. Sorry, I didn't realize my accent was so thick. That Carpet Man and Covenant sound the same. Harry Carpet Man. Yeah, you know, like you're playing. You got Halo. You got the, the, the Carpet Men, the bad guys. You know, the prophets of the Carpet Men. Hell yeah. Love it. Harry Carpet Man. And also Harry Carpet Man. You know. Manly hair carpets? Hell yeah. That's what we're Alright. Where am I going? What is this? Hey, BD. Uh, love that more. Manly hair carpets? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start calling them that. Makes sense. The, 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 the adjustment on the name is actually good. Look, here's one. Like, okay, before we get to some sort of cutscene, like, I remember Chewie, for instance, being quite built out, and all the other Wookiees from, like, Star Wars 3 being quite broad. These guys look like they're made of noodles. They look so- they look like me. It's not it. Like, look at him. He's so, like, lanky and thin. His hair looks like it's made out of fettuccine. I can walk all over him. Yeah, I don't want to talk to fettuccine. Where do I have to go here? I have to go to the Shadowlands via the Overgrown Pass. Actually, fuck. Yeah, it's quite weird. Yeah. We'll go in here, I guess. Look, I'm shitting on this game a lot. I am enjoying it quite a bit. The puzzles are shit. The Wookiees are shit. The rest of it's pretty good. Toothbrush covered in fur? Dude, like, when you drop your toothbrush down, like, the back of the sink, and, like, you... Pull it out and it's like covered in like hair from like the last five people who rented your apartment. That's what this looks like. Have I gone the wrong way? Um, most definitely. But the team, man. To the Shadowlands, time to duel with Yu Gi Oh! It's time to du -du 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 duel. The goats are also shit. I hate the goats. You're right. Uh, that was oddly specific. Um, what are you talking about? I don't know what you meant. Carpet made of fettuccine. Actually, you know what? That would be kind of, kind of cool. You get sick of it, you can just roll it up and stick it in a giant pot of water and eat it for lunch. Imagine being a city full of them during set shedding season. Oh, do Wookiees shed? Can someone look this up for me? Do Wookiees molt or shed or anything like that? Uh, it would be like this horror game. Yeah, yeah, it would be like that. Wouldn't it? That'd be really quite awful. I feel like. Like, I feel like that's like a path, right? Like, that's a... Oh, it does just lead... But then there's like an elevator there. No, maybe I have gone the wrong way. Hang on. Um... Horror image of this flying spiderwebs with hair. From the hair from the last apartment? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing it. Not sure. Definitely hasn't happened. Uh, do you ever do one of those farts? It feels like racism. You're an innocent dude. No, because I have a healthy digestive system and I eat well. 
uh, Lay off the crisps. Wookiees do shed. Supposedly raid the remove hair from a console at one point. Not Chewie's hair. Like, there does appear to be a way down here. Yes, okay. Elevate them. Not, a, not an obvious element, but an element, nonetheless. They don't make it easy this gen. To like, figure out where you gotta go. Shit. Thanks. Are you okay? Do I gotta cut through these? Okay. Fun. Yeah, Wookiee's Wookie's shed. Okay, yeah, shedding season would be dreadful. I'm on my way. Uh, I don't recall the Ray shedding uh, scene. What the fuck? I'm just shooting flying bugs at a, at a, at a goat slug. Oh my god. I'm getting ganked by a goat slug. Um, wonderful. The shedding was in a book? Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, who reads Star Wars books? Slow? Is that what that's called? Slope was slope was one of our previous mods. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna blow! I'd be grazing like a straight mama. Yeah, yeah. You just, I can imagine Thomas like crawling around on the ground just eating fettuccine. Nom, nom, nom. Just like going at it. I gotta go around again. Throwing slug and go together or slope? That's funny. Because yeah, one of our one of our mods, one of our first mods, is a guy called Slope. And I thought I thought he was in chat and that Ardlock somehow you knew him because you seem to know everyone on Twitch. Uh, I thought that kind of weird thing had happened, but you know what? It hadn't, and that's okay. I've made it to the overgrown pass. Why is there just like a bat just cruising? Uh huh, okay. I hate this enemy already. Fuck off. Slug goat. Slow. What a coincidence. I know. Crazy. Bonk. Alright. Well, we might as well meditate. So now there's dragons. I don't know if it's a dragon. It's just some kind of big bat looking thing. Uh, I do have a skill point. Can I use it on anything? I do not know. I can use it on this. Uh, holding pull while cow to pull and hold most enemies. Large enemies can be yanked. Well, you know me, I'm never going to turn down Yank on a large enemy. Um, uh, but yeah, here they'd be dragons. Um, okay, irrelevant question, and has nothing to do with uh, Star Wars. Did anyone watch Rings of Power, the new Lord of the Rings um, show? I'm curious. Because it seems that everyone who reviews that show is either being paid for by Amazon or is just someone who's putting one star because they're salty. So I want to hear some actual living human people uh, and their opinions. You didn't see it, Beezus? Uh, Yeet? Yeah, I know. Guy just got. Bye. Um, refused to on principle? Okay. I haven't seen it, but one of my good friends really loved it. Yeah, that's fair. I did see it. I have my thoughts. But I'm curious to hear what other people say for this defense. Uh, Kanthia's taking a, a hard stance against it. Uh, I'm not the Green Lantern. No, that's fair. How old is this game? It's like 2015 or something, right? This AI feels like a PlayStation 2 game sometimes. Like, I would expect in a game for this guy down the road here to 100% already be shooting. Okay. I had to cross a very distinct path. Oh my god. 2019? Okay, that's kind of shocking. Um, I see a message, give me a sec. Punk. Your mum loves it? Is your mum a big Lord of the Rings fan? 
can't see in that helmet. You might be right, Thor. That would probably be the canonical reason, I believe. And I tell you, with the dual saber, you can block more blasters. All right, I'm gonna just have this out the whole time. Mari, are you there? I'm almost to the Shadowlands at the wreck of a walker. Saw managed to take one out in the escape. Is he with you? No. Oh no, we've lost Saul there. He can't see. Um, yeah. So, not that anyone's asked, but I'm eager to talk about Rings of Power. Um. I think if you go in expecting Jesus fucking Christ. If you go in expecting Jesus Christ, you will be disappointed. If you go in expecting not Jesus Christ. Alright, I got ganked. Um if you go in expecting something to be expecting it to be insanely lore accurate and uh you know, whatever else. You're going to be disappointed. Uh, if you go into it the same way people are going into with House of Dragons, or whatever it is, um, and you're just in there for a good fantasy experience, it's it's okay. Um, when no Jesus Christ, I know, dude, it's always so devastating. I think it's a good fantasy show, I think it's a shit Lord of the Rings show. And I would give it a tentative 6 to 7 out of 10. Uh, if anyone wanted to know my opinion on Rings of Power thus far, two episodes ago. Uh, I do not think I could be bothered watching anymore. Uh, because... Uh, I think... And I'm not like salty about its existence or anything. Like Some people are like, oh my god, it's blasphemous. And like, yeah, look, it's not the best thing to ever happen. Um, it's not the best thing to ever happen. The people who made it are clearly fans of Tolkien because they've done a lot of research and they ask, it is definitely difficult to plug in that much lore into one TV show. They have, there is definitely like, if you're like a lore nerd, uh, which I definitely am when it comes to Lord of the Rings, uh, they fuck up a lot. Uh, and that's okay. I'm not expecting perfection. It's an Amazon show after me. Um, oh, Hang on. Let me just ice this Joker. He's icing me. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting something to be desperate. I'll make the first episodes free. Just to garner views. Um, that's... That's just how... I mean, they did the same with House of Dragon. Um, they did the same with, uh, it's, it's how a lot of shows do it now. Okay, I just walked off. That's, that's not unique to this Cantia, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that a valid point, in all honesty. Um, the House of Dragons first episode was free. Uh, a lot of Disney's first episodes are free. Um, it's not good. Yo, bye. Does it suffer from the same criticism? Yes. Yes, Potentious, and I was waiting for someone to ask that. Um, the Hobbits? Relatively dirty. Everyone else? No. They, they look too clean, constantly. Uh, there's no pits. You're right. Roll the wave, oh no. Fuck, okay, there's like a lot going on here. Hang on. Okay, I wanted to I wanted to force push that, but instead I died. The hobbits, the hobbits, the hobbits to eyes and go, yeah. Except they're not hobbits, they're hagfoots or some shit. Got so much attention, Amazon they made the first episodes free. Amazon Lord of the Ring got 250 million views. That's, that beat out House of Dragon quite substantially. Um I think being salty about its existence without giving it a try is um uh, basically, I think you just forfeit your right to an opinion at that point, and I, I, I say that about every fucking show. Like, you know me, I, I mean, some of you do anyway. I'm like diehard Lord of the Rings, like, insane. Um, I gave it a chance. Six out of ten. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. The one thing I have to give them credit for, except for one instance. Doing great at this game? Thanks, Beezus. Um... Uh, the kind of logic only works for video games. It's not for fear at all, by the way. It's 
good market. And I'll tell you what, they marketed it in such a good way that even I felt. Um, because I don't know if anyone saw that, like, really shitty, um, intro sequence where they were, like, sliding past the camera and stuff like that. They do, they released that to purely just to generate outrage, and it fucking worked. It got me pissed. Um, <laughs> it's a very true story. Um, juice me up, home slice. Yo! Okay. Um... Get... Paste. He just bounced off the wall like a tennis ball. Wild! My guy, just... Cease existing, please. You were just a pain in the ass, right? Um... Yeah, look, I think give it a chance. You might like it. But the one thing I've got to give him credit for for Lord of the Rings... Hang on, let me show you something. The casting, with the exception of Elrond... Um, they did exceptionally well. I'm not going to bother. Actually, fuck, I can't be able to show you. Um, there was... There's a character that they show in... Uh, in the Fellowship of the Ring. For all of ten seconds, right? Gilgalad is there. So he's a fairly big part of the Rise of Power thing, Rings of Power, whatever. They show him for about 10 seconds. They could have completely cast him as someone totally different looking and no one would have cared. Um, I had to double check it wasn't the same actor. And that seems to be the case with a lot of the cast. Is they cast everyone to look exactly like their counterparts in the Peter Jackson films. And then... Then we have Elrond, who looks like a project manager and not Hugo Weaving, and there's a reason for that, apparently. But people who feel it's not good enough, but it's literally no one will be like, eh, it's free, I hate it, but it's free. Yeah, like, I mean, here's the other thing to consider um, about the whole free argument. I'm just going to let them fuck the slow up over here with the rocket launcher. I'm just not going to interfere. Is um, Amazon hedged their bets on, on Rings of Power quite heavily. They, uh... They basically said that if if Rings of Power fails, they are going to stop making shows. So, of course, they're doing everything they can to make it work, right? Which includes, I guess, a free episode. Uh, or two. Um, I gotta fuck the goat up first. Okay, he's dead. Oh, God, crikey. Oh, what? How did that not work? Stand up, stand up. What was that? How did that happen? It just dropped at my feet. Oh fuck, I have to do it three times. Hang on, Kent, I'll see a message, man. I'm just dealing with these rocketeers. Okay, one more. Oh my god. Hang on, Kentia, yeah, I see a message. <laughs> the timing on this is absurd. Can I just not do this? If a close friend of mine thinks they did it justice, I'll give him enough crap, throw money as to the subs, but bitch, dude, just pirate it. Um, otherwise, I'm just getting my back because I've watched the trilogy in the old movies, yeah. Um, the only thing I gotta give him is that, um, oh shit, is I meant to use a rocket to break this or some shit? Um, the second age of Lord of the Rings, uh, or, or of Middle-earth, there's not a lot of history in it. Um, so a lot of it is being made up. It is an actual void in, in history of Lord of the Rings. Um, Over here, BD. Climb, boy, climb. Did you just say it's long gone? Eh, fair enough. Uh, not the illegals. Did I say pirate? I meant, uh, hi, rat. Bro, why would you do that? This is not it. No cap, no bustle, no feeds. Doors plus, no fuss. Get out of here. Excuse me? Spider's gonna gank me if I'm not careful. Okay. 
Uh, very bad for people with arachnophobia. Thank God it ain't me. Uh, they say rockets are dumb. If most of them you have to push right after they get fired, and they can just climb up there. Yeah. Hey, Pyrax, the hey, the waste, the waste that tells you. Um, just move up someone else, can. Thanks, BD. If you don't want to do that, but look, it's not. If you go in there, like you know, it's not going to be lore accurate. If you go in there expecting it to be, you're going to have a real bad time. But yeah, look, I don't know. I don't think I recommend it, but I think. Um, I think there's a huge bandwagon on hating for it. And you know what? It's it's not the worst fucking thing in the world. I have seen far worse shows. Um, I would actually, even though it's a lore horror, I would put it above the Hobbit trilogy at the moment. But that's because I fucking hate the Hobbit trilogy. Because it's fucking bad. And it's fucking shit. And it's an abomination. Uh, that is a bigger abomination than this. So... Uh, Yes. Uh, where do I go? Down there? No? I'm going to take one hit from a guy hiding in a corner. I'm cooked. I have to do it all again. Anyway. Enough rings of power. What about Star Wars? Where am I going, folks? I'm lost. Am I meant to come this way? There's a, there's a zip line? Oh, fuck, I thought I just fell to my death. Um, that was not great, now to do it all over again. Where's this zipline? Star of Wars. Are you a Star of Stars of Wars fan, um, Beezus? Oh, there it is. Um, are you a big Star Wars fan? We were discussing Star Wars in depth last time I was playing this. We were discussing the ins and outs of the sequel series, and how it's everyone's favorite. Not a fan of Star Wars? You just never watched it, can't be bothered? What's the jive? What's the jive? What's the vibe? Okay. I reckon I'm gonna learn how to swim in a second. Probably burning from such a zip. I reckon. I'm a. I think I'm. I'm a casual Star Wars fan. I wouldn't say I'm that hard anymore. I used to be quite into it, really. Uh, but I think I just don't care anymore. Never watched it. That's fair. But like, is it is it just you just never bothered to, or it's just never caught your interest, or anything like that, or is it just it's just a thing you know of and you've just kind of gone, oh, whatever. Star Wars. What sort of shows do you like? Then? What's your vibe? You got got any good recommendations on shows? Uh, it might even be soldering it close to. I know it's just it's just melting his poor cheeks. I wish someone would melt my poor cheeks, if you know what I mean. A very well done one. I never really thought, oh my god, I want to watch Star Wars. That's understandable. You know what? I actually don't think you're missing out on all that much. Um, it's a fairly okay, at best, 8 out of 10... Um, uh, space fantasy series. Um, yes, I block. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm trying to rush through this game because I want to play God of War. It's not that I'm not liking this game. It's just that uh, it's not as good as I was expecting. But also, uh, it doesn't do very well on on Twitch, and I kind of just want to like I want to finish it because I I paid for it. God damn it. Um. I thought, oh my god, a new Star Wars movie in 1999. Did a new Star Wars movie come in 1999? 8 out of 10, not bad. Um, the original trilogy, honestly, if you, if you do ever feel like, you, you, you know, maybe you've got like, I don't know, maybe you end up in like COVID isolation or some shit, or like stuck in an apartment for two weeks, um, and you've got a few days to spare, the original trilogy, pretty good. Pretty fine. Um, prequel trilogy. It's gumpy, but it's fun. And, uh, we just leave it at that. It's light-hearted entertainment, I think. Um, and then you can get, like, real anal with lore if you want to. There's enough of it there. It's entertaining if you like going on wiki dumps. Um, and you like just sort of diving through the depths of, like, Wikipedia or whatever. 
to like learn about how Darth Vader's anus got replaced by a robot or some shit. Uh, facts that does actually happen. Um, and I count that and everything really. Probably just thinking on yourself. Uh, you want to just take things easy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I was also 12 and had just read through the entire EU that existed. Dude, you were you were hardcore into it, huh? Listen, I've. Why is this? Okay, this is the worst thing I've seen in this game so far. This looks like something on Kin Picks. I could draw a cock with this if I tried hard enough. <laughs> what is this? This is the worst fucking thing I have ever seen in a recent video game. What the fuck is this? No, I'm out. That's it. I, what is this? <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It doesn't ick me out. It just looks like shit. <laughs> like... Okay, let me let me show you let me show you what I'm seeing. If it comes back out, then like chase. Me. Okay. Number one. Oh. Look how it grows from the plant. It's not even the same texture. It's just like stuck on there. And then the way that it just like hard zigzags. Like what's this? What's this? Like. And then it just goes beep, 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 beep. like. It just looks like shit. Looks like my rune? That's just, look. It's not even attached if you look at it from behind. Oh, and how, like... Like, the way that this, the way that it, it's being textured is it's coming out. It's it's shooting out the back. That plant is generating an infinite stem. Are you gonna get some Banjo-Kazooie vibes? Oh, yeah, am I gonna, am I gonna bounce on these things? Yeah, see, look, that's a Crash Bandicoot thing right there. This is a Crash Bandicoot thing, you know? Like, I saw the big Venus flytrap and I thought, you know what? Crash Bandicoot. Andrew grows up with a grass room cannon. Hell yeah, hit Banjo-Kazooie moment. Right. But the trap from Ice Age, dude, it fucking is. This is the... Mm. Look. Oh no, the Stormtrooper has been eaten by a fucking plan. What are we... He's just dead. The plant doesn't even eat him. It just, it just, it just falls. Out. Oh, the other one's doomed to. Yeah. Okay. He got catapulted. Um. This feels like this feels like whoever directed this game played like Uncharted One, and and Banjo Kazooie. It was like, yeah, this is how all games are. Um. And you know what? More power to him. I want more Venus flytraps in Star Wars games, I think. He's Limbo? Who says that? I'm really ragging on this game today. I don't know why. It's not even that bad. Stinky Star Wars? I know. They didn't even know how Venus flytraps work. Venus flytraps. Just get an actual Venus flytrap. They're hard to look after. I fucking have one. They suck. They fucking suck. All carnivorous plants are insanely hard to look up. Um, I don't recommend it. Crack. Yep, saw that coming. Oh my god, this is my literal hell. Look at this! You just fucking swing at them, they fuck off, go away. Could you imagine them putting that in a film? They're a whole pet, they are! You gotta like... Oh my god. Look at look at the way that it just comes at you. Oh no, a, a slope and a spider that wriggled and jiggled and pickled inside her. They want the suck. You're right, Kenty. Bye. Seeps. All right. From now on, I'm speed running this game. <laughs> I think. Um, I think I've, I. <laughs> I think my suspension of disbelief has just been broken. <laughs> I think I um I think this game has just lost a point or two. <laughs> Limba. <laughs> okay. Let's hope bit flips for me, Lisa. That would be swell. Um I would like that. <laughs> Suddenly I'm just there with Darth Vader. Okay. The own okay. Hmm. This game does well at a few things. I'm I've been ragging on this game a lot.
Yeah, this is a Crash Bandicoot level. I've been ragging on this game a lot. It does combat well. The combat is fun, relatively. I think they could have gone for a bit more of like a Batman Arkham Asylum style combat with counters. I think that would have worked better. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? They, they're, they're jumping pads? They're fucking jumping. Okay. Alright. Alright. I see what you mean by Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Could you imagine in film? Could you imagine Anakin Skywalker and Kashyyyk? Um. And Anakin Skywalker's like, Obi-Wan, these plants, they're jumping platforms. And Obi-Wan's like, Anakin, don't do it! <laughs> and the next shot is Anakin going, <laughs> Seems like they've made up levels too big to fill them up with enough substance. Yes, Lisa, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I, I, I think that's a very fair assessment. And I am, I am ratting on it. Um, a lot. And I shouldn't be. It's goofy. And I think that's okay. I think it's just they didn't... I don't know the word. Lemon does. Um, there's like a thing for like film and game and media. Is if something doesn't sort of prove its existence in the first sort of 10% of the, of the text, um, then it feels really janky. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, say you're reading like a detective novel. Or anyone who's played Outlast, you'll know what I mean. When you play when you play Outlast, it's like, okay, the first 90% of the game is just asylum horror. And then suddenly you've got like fucking Nazi tech comes out of nowhere and you're like, what the fuck? And like, you know, say you're reading like a detective novel, and then all of a sudden, I don't know, the detective gets superpowers at the end as some sort of Davis Machina. It's like there's been no proof of this before. It feels weird. This feels like that, but with gameplay mechanics. For the age of the graphics, no, the graphics are fine. Push that the match will lose. Like, yeah. Look, I, I think this game is is decent. I'm shitting on it a lot. Um, and I like to do that because it's it's kind of it's kind of a, a bit funny sometimes to just laugh. Laugh at some of the absurd design choices that people come up with. What a plot twist. I'm writing that book right now, by the way, Beezus. It's called um, The Detective and I. Um, a love story between uh, the detective and the superpowers he gets in the last 10 minutes of the, of the book. Uh, it's really, really meta. Uh, okay, you know what this feels like? Actually, I, I figured it out. Uh, this feels like... Uh, I can't wait to read. Dude, it's going to be so up your alley. I know nothing about you, but I guarantee you're going to be into that. Um, I figured it out. It's got a lot of references from other games. I don't know if it's references. I think it just might be they saw a game from the PlayStation 3 and said, let's emulate this. This feels like a Disney adventure game with a Star Wars veneer. And I don't know. I can't. I, I guess Disney was probably involved. In this, but the fact that 90% of the villains are just bugs rather than, you know, you watch Star Wars, or you don't if you're Beezus, um, most of the time they're cutting, you know, cutting arms off and shit like that. You know, there's there's limb detachment going on. There's crazy shit like that. There's there's none of this in that. There's like a little bit. But like most of the time I'm fighting slugs and goats. It's like, I don't recall Anakin Skywalker, for instance, fighting a goat i remember him fighting droids where are the you know there's no there's fail, barely any droids there's barely any it's a stormtrooper i don't know it's a weird it's weird this this feels like it wasn't meant to be a star wars game and then they turned it into one of the end. that's almost what it feels like or like they designed these enemies for another game actually you know what that's what it feels like they designed these enemies for some sort of disney action game and and then they were like, oh, that game's been cancelled, but we don't want to waste the assets because we're Disney and we believe in that sort of shit. And then, but then we get giant slugs, spiders, rats, and all this really generic shit, I guess. None of this feels like a Star Wars um, alien, you know what I mean? It, it, I mean, I don't know. So a Star Wars game, there's gave character a lightsaber. It, it kind of just feels like that, yeah. But again, I'm ratting on this a lot. Uh... I am enjoying it. I wouldn't be playing it if I wasn't enjoying it. And I think I paid like six bucks for this. 
So, you know what? Middle of the game review to the 17 or so people watching this. I'm giving this a 7.5 7 out of 10. Um, loses points for its wackiness. The storyline is fairly enjoyable. Um, loses points for Cal Cestus being the most boring character I've ever encountered. Um, that's why I remember the references. Feel like the spy. Yeah, it feels like it's a Harry Potter game or some shit. Is this eyes on the end of the horns? Whose idea was this shit? My cousins would love this game, dude. The cousins sound like absolute chats. Um, spies on Kashyyyk and the Night Witch's Planet. The Night Witch's Planet, like that, felt fine to me. In all honesty, like because that's like a thing. No, I didn't watch Captain Marvel, Kentia. Yeah. How many times do I have to say I hate Marvel shit? <laughs> I, I haven't seen Marvel since Iron Man. Uh, and, I, I, and even then, it was on Channel 7. And I was only watching it half and half because I was actually doing a uni assignment. So, no, I didn't see Captain Marvel. No, I have no interest in watching any of it. <laughs> I thought this game was Captain Marvel. Like, what, what's the problem with Captain Marvel? Uh, you're a Jedi, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. This game isn't Jedi, Mr. Plank. It's a bit Mr. Plank. Where am I going? I guess I need to go up there. Is that where I just literally quite was? Just literally. What was the issue with Captain Marvel? I don't, I don't follow Marvel shit. When more substance to this? Taunt, did you see Captain Marvel? What's... Is there credence to what Kentia is saying? I remember there's some drama about Captain Marvel. I don't fucking know what it was. Sorry. Hang on. So you guys have been standing up here this whole fucking time. Watching me bounce around on these fucking goofy ass platforms. You didn't just like drop a rope or something. Ah. <laughs> The only thing that would make this game enjoyable would be substances on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on a mission for Master Enoch. Uh, not Captain Smooth, that actress Plank. Okay, so you have an issue with whoever Captain Marvel was. I do remember some people cracking the shits, but honestly, that just sounded like a bunch of man babies whining. Being like, oh my god, female character, woo, sad me. Uh, I hear that a lot these days. Rings of Power is copping that too. I mean, it might be a shit show, but it's not her fault. You'll need this breather. Yep, okay. I've come all this way so I can breathe underwater. Yep. And the wackiness would be fun. Man babies weren't without reason. I don't know, man. Man babies are very often without reason. What will you all do now? Uh, that's why they're called man babies. We can. Keep fighting. It didn't look like you were fighting. It looked like you were standing here waiting for me. She's quite bland. A woman gains power because, well, power and she saves Earth. Okay, now explain to me how that's different to any other Marvel film. As someone who doesn't watch Marvel, my understanding of the Hulk is he gets power, saves Earth. My understanding of Iron Man is he rich, he make power, he save Earth. My understanding of Thor is he's some kind of god, he save Earth? Is It sounds like the same fucking shit over and over again. Aren't you people sick of this shit? <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay, now I can swim on. Um, What horrible underwater enemies are we? I love underwater. It's my favorite. Man, I'm, I'm fucking salty today, I've just realized. I'm just ratting on everything. Fuck everything you all love. <laughs> no, no. God, same birth? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, man. People, people like to bitch for the sake of bitching, and the internet has become like a hive mind. Like, one dude cracks the shits because there's like a chick as the main character or something. And then people are like, oh my god, that show. And then they'd find ways to justify it with, like, nonsense crap. Like, I saw that cycle happen, the Rings of Power. And it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't deserve that. I don't think it's a one-star show. And I don't think the actors deserve to be handed the same card that, like, Jar Jar Binks was handed. Uh, but, like, you know. People be people. And people be spoiled. People had something good once, they want it back again. They cry when they don't get it. Um, uh, especially, Cap uh, I mean, I don't have any comparison uh, to uh, Captain Marvel's or whatever. Um, I think, for you know, comparatively, 
from what I've seen in general. I think Robert Downey Jr. is a fucking terrible actor. I think he's got one persona and he plays it fairly averagely. And yet he gets all the bloody rep for being Iron Man or whatever. And he's a really bland fucking character. And actor, right? Like, watch anything that Robert Downey Jr. is in. He's, he's the same quasi-eccentric idiot every fucking time. Uh, that, that was a big piss of Tame Light. We're shitting on uh, things. Well, I'm shitting on things. Mainly Marvel. You're going for like an hour, dude. Obsidian Light has the biggest ladder. I swear to God. That's insane. Um, very big piss. Obsidian Light, have you seen Captain, Captain Marvel? Is that what it's called? Is that right? Captain Marvel? Yes, Captain Marvel. Have you guys, have you seen, well, that's what we're talking about, right? Um, oh no, not these fucking, not these goddamn idiot plants again. That was my, yeah, and I do hear that a lot, Kantia, that a lot of people think that, was it Phase 4 now? Marvel's Phase 4 is, like, completely shit. I hate, like, people keep saying it should have ended in Endgame. I mean, it's the perfect, perfect name, isn't it? It's, it's literally endgame. Quick, get me off these... Fuck off. Get out of here, you fucking stupid... Oh, this Banjo kazooie ass motherfucking game. Oh, man. Those things give me the creeps. Whoa, um, words coming from you. The sludge must flow. That's exactly what I just said, Obsidian Mark. He's the same character. Like, I'm in my head, like, I remember Iron Man 1. I think I saw part of Iron Man 2 when I was in, like, uh, um, lockdown coming back from New Zealand. Because it was, like, the only thing on tell. Why did that not work? Um, and, you know, I'm comparing that to, like, his role as, like, Sherlock Holmes or whatever. And, like, I think he was in a few other films that I remember. Um, he's a bit like, he's a bit like Johnny Depp. He has kind of one role, although Johnny Depp does does do more. Um, oh man, I have to fire these guys without losing a single heart. Alright, that went well. I prefer the proof group. Yeah, I feel like he's the same character no matter what he plays. Uh, I would also say the same about Harrison Ford. Um, this Combobula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, young me enjoyed the Sherlock Holmes film with Robbie Downey Jr. Really? Can I swim? Or do I have to... Okay. But young me enjoyed those films. Um, I rewatched them. I rewatched one of them. Barely recently, the last few years. I was like, eh. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kid's action film. Um, I don't remember where I went. Don't want to be swimming forever. I'm trying to find out where. There's a little very roll, not much. Han Solo is, is fairly different than Jack. That's true enough. Uh, but I would say Indiana Jones and Han Solo, the ones he's most known for, same guy. Like, I mean, that's what he was cast for, to be that charming, handsome devil, right? Yeah. And, like, you know, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with an actor being good at what they do. But, like, okay, when they get to the point of, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, where... It's quite literally, um, like, name me a single film, one single film, where Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't, like, in khaki clothes. And the exact same character he has been in everything else. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, that man is one guy. He, you, you are not getting a, any sort of three-dimensional character when you cast... Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You're getting Dwayne The Rock Johnson. These days, actors are, are a brand, doesn't feel the shit that uh, RBG and Depp, Rock Kevin Hart, Keanu Reeves, literally around the month. Yeah, that's true. That's true. One trick pony, but it's a nice trick, yes. Like Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis is a one trick pony. That being said, actually, I take that back. Bruce Willis is not a one trick pony. Uh, Twelve Monkeys, um, Sixth Sense, um, he's a two-trick pony. 
Where the fuck did I go? Where, where is this? I'm, I'm tired of this already. One trick playing bits a nice trick, guys. Who's your favorite actor? For whatever reason. Fifth element, fifth element. Rain's doing Black Adam. Fuck is Black Adam. <laughs> Please, I'm I'm old and I'm not hit with the times, Ken TR. Use words I understand. Please. <laughs> what the fuck is Black Adam? Um Willis had range before it. Yes. Willis had range before Die Hard 2. Matt Damon? Matt Damon's your favorite character? Matt Damon is okay. I think for the majority, he's also basically Bruce Willis. But I think there have been some roles where Matt Damon has stood out really well. So I think he has a lot of a lot going for him. Superhero by DC played by okay, okay. DC I know even less about after Batman. For some reason I know Batman lore rather extensively, but like nothing else about DC. Favorite actor, yeah. Um Brian Cranston? Brian Cranston, he was great in Malcolm in the Middle. Uh, no, I, I like Brian Cranston. He's got some pizzazz to him. Of the buff Macho Man, he's going into an anti hero. Okay. What a man Brian Cranston is, dude. What a man. What a man, what a man. Jennifer Lawrence, she seems like a weirdo. She was uh, Silver Linings Playbook, right? And uh, what's the other one she did? It wasn't it was it was kind of big. Um uh, the the Hunger Games. That was her, right? Yeah. Katniss and I yep, yeah, I knew it was something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, that was her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think that was like her big breakout, isn't it? Like that's like when she kind of entered the, the general vernacular. Everyone's like, oh my god, Jayla. Um Yeah. I think she was that, yeah. Um, yeah, JLo's kind of cool. Um, being chased by these tombs again. Um, who else? Who else? Is, uh, we got Brian, Brian Cran. Okay, okay, guys, let's let's make a movie. Let's make a movie. Let, we're doing the casting right now. Uh, main character. Main characters. We've got. We've got Brian Cranston and we've got Jennifer Lawrence. What's the story about? How are these two guys the main characters? Right? What what kind of film are we talking about? That that would have Brian Cranston and Jennifer Lawrence as the main actors. I'm thinking uh, Jennifer Lawrence is um, oh and Matt Damon. Matt, Matt okay Matt Damon, Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Cranston. Yeah. Okay. So it's an all star cast. Of Um, man, game. <laughs> um, uh, hang on. He's becoming an anti hero, not a superhero. I uh, did the exact same thing, but for different reasons. I mean, yeah, that's kind of that's fairly accurate. I'm gonna say it'd be a spy thriller. I was, I mean, I was thinking a psychological horror. I was thinking, um, Here's what I here's my here's my pitch. Here's my pitch. Oh my god, waterfall. There's gotta be a secret entrance. Here's my pitch. Um Jennifer Lawrence and Matt Damon are siblings. Yeah? Um Or maybe cousins, or maybe just friends. I don't know. They're not like they're not a romance thing. Whatever their part their 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 relationship is, it's not romance. Brian Cranston plays this like creepy kind of stalker figure, maybe. Here's what I'm picking. He's like a creepy stalker figure. Uh, mother and son. Yeah, Matt Damon is the mother. Yeah. And uh, Brian Cranston is this kind of creepy, creepy guy. Um, we don't know what he wants, but it's clear it's either Matt Damon or Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet. Come on, I need more actors, guys. <laughs> give, me, give me some actors. Um, Brian Cranston has, a, has, a, has an accomplice. Who is it? Is keep, I'm making my dream film here. I'm not sure. Black Adam's coming out of DCU is Shazam. Shazam's a teenager. 
so you're saying, Kentia, that Black Adam's entire existence is uh, reactionary to the existence of Shazam, and therefore is just literally DC making a Walmart version of this, or could be siblings. You're like, okay, good, we've got siblings. Peter Dink Dinklage. Oh, you want to put in Sasha Baron Cohen? Okay, okay. Sasha, Sasha Baron Cohen is Brian Cranston's um, wacky assistant. He's kind of like the Igor sort of vibe. You know, he's the comic relief, right? Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So, you know, you've got Brian Cranston talking about this, like, nefarious plan to, like, kidnap uh, Jennifer Lawrence. And, and uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's, like, making quips. So no reaction to Shazam, more than Shazam, uh, Black Adam's experience. Okay. So, what, they meant to compliment each other or something? I don't, I don't know enough about Roy McMahon? Love Sasha in that spy series? I didn't know Sasha did a spy series. Please enlighten me. What this... Oh, uh, Peter, Peter Dinklage is the cop. Peter Dinklage is the cop. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Peter Dinklage is... He's, he's the PI. Um, invest, uh, investigating him. Investigating Brian Cranston's character, um, because his last victim's parents, who are played by, who are, yeah, we need we need we need two more two more actors. <laughs> the spy is that what it's called? The spy. Um, everyone attack the ladders of the push. Rose the double lightsaber. I'm in. Anything about throwing lightsabers? I'm in. Um, both of them are Adam Sandler. Are we thinking like, okay, in my head here, Beezus, do you remember like, I mean, I don't know how old you are or whatever, but there was that period of time in like the 2000s where we got like a slew of comedies where it's like a dude and a girl played by the same actor. Like, I think we had Norbert with Eddie Murphy. Um, we had Mrs. Doubtfire with Robin Williams. We had, um, like, Big Mama's House with What's-His-Face. Um, Macaulay Culkin is the victim, comes back as a demon. Yes, loving this. Shazam is innocent with Superman-level power, trying to replicate his idol Superman. Black Adam was trying to put down assholes for good, even they got to die. I mean, he just sounds like the Punisher. I guess. Or Batman. I guess. Or any other anti-hero slash vigilante. How many superheroes can there possibly be with different motives? They're the same fucking thing. They're all just police. Um, okay. Sounds like me. Okay, so we've got Adam Sandler as um, Macaulay Culkin's parents. <laughs> Both of them. Um, but he plays one of them really seriously. Right? So you've got this juxtaposition of, um, hang on, oh okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got this juxtaposition of, um, like, a very serious Adam, Sa Adam Sandler, uh, and his, and his, like, female version of Adam Sandler, who is, like, really serious, and maybe, like, like, a really good act, right? Like, what is this guy's hitting me with a fucking goddamn cleaver? What is this? Um, okay. Yo. Man, just kicked me in the gooch. Get out of here. This is the perfect film, you reckon? Okay, who's the director? Magic Energy Axe? Yes. Who's, who is the director of this film? I'm Sam's boss. Or that is Sylvester Stallone, but it's Yoda. But it's, it's 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 Yoda. Okay, okay. Now we're getting abstract. We're hiring puppets from other films to play actors voiced by Sylvester Stallone. Okay, all right. I can see this happen. Punisher puts down criminals without remorse. Batman puts down even the point of brain damage, but doesn't kill. Okay, so they're all the same thing, but there's one minor difference. Like, that's what, I mean, look, I, I, I realize I'm probably being, like, really critical on it, but honestly, that's just how I've always viewed a lot of superhero stuff, is, like, how many times? Who the fuck is this geezer? <laughs> the Ninth Sister. Dude, this guy looks like a Ben 10 creature. 
That's how you really feel. Um, I'll tell you how I really feel, Hanvonica. This feels like a Ben 10 character. Love it when I'm wrong. The Night Sister. Was she? Oh, she's just shot on my platform and I was completely unfazed. Um. You. Firehorn from Ben 10 Omniverse. Excellent. Just, oh, you, oh, damn, you had me convinced. Me. I would have believed you. I would have believed you to the end of, end of time. Uh, but yeah, no, I've always found that, like, and maybe it's because I don't, I don't know, quote, unquote, appreciate the art or some shit. Bye. Um, but, like, I've always thought that, like, okay, superheroes, like, they're all the same thing, but the, it's like, how many permutations of the same thing can be done? It's what it feels like. Like, okay, so Spider-Man beats his victims up and takes a photo of them. Uh, Batman beats his victims up and puts them in a prison. Superman beats his victims up and throws them in the in, into the sun. Uh, the Punisher only beats up certain victims. Uh, Squirrel Girl has a tail. Like, it, a lot of it feels like just permutations of a very singular concept. And there are some who aren't. There are some who are genuinely interesting. I mean, I don't know any off the top of my head, but they exist, I'm certain. Uh, they were just cat girls with different colors attached. Colors, uh, colors, wow, okay, yeah. Um, Uncharted with glow sticks? Hell. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. So I just, I just, yep, a dragon. The, the eagles from Lord of the Rings have just come and saved my ass. That was a big guess. Yeah. That was a weird moment. I'm not gonna lie to you. That felt unfitting. But okay. It felt like they didn't know how to end that sequence. <laughs> um. Get me conniptions from the cryptography instead of permutations, dude. Um, factorials, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ninth, ninth power factorials, superheroes. That's how many there are. Please stop, no top. Combinatronics. <laughs> Finite state machines. <laughs> I'm giving you flashbacks. Um, aha, comp side joke. Yeah, Uncharted with glow sticks. It really do be a bit like that sometimes. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. This has been the least interesting part of the game. This this feels very rinse repeat sort of jazz. But you know, every game has that. You can't be you can't be running gun the full way through. You know, even Uncharted has its rest moments. Uh, but okay, enough ratting about. S Superheroes. Let's talk positive superheroes. Guys, who is your favorite superhero? Uh, or thing that could potentially be construed as superhero. My least favorite overall. I'm... So what, these spiders are just living here with this slug? You know what? Here's what I think. You're my favorite superhero, Potentious. I've just spent the last 20 minutes like ratting on superheroes. Please don't be there. <laughs> Me, legit, we'll see. I can't wait for Super Tom. Jesus Christ. He's pretty good. He was the first superhero. Man's walking on water and shit like that. The weird ones from the show like Actor Man. The tree guided them. But uh and on that note I'm heading to bed. No worries, Pete. Thanks for tuning in, my guy. Thanks for hosting and all that sort of stuff. You have a good sleep. May your slumber bring you infinite dreams. It's made me laugh. Jesus, Jesus Christ is the first comic book character. Um are the weird ones from that show? What's that show? Like Lacto Man? I mean, I can infer what Lacto Man does, and I'm all about it. Uh, I have fallen down into the spider as well. Oh, man. I just got, like, crash tackled. Yo! Um. Or Super Villain. Who's your favorite Super Villain? There you go. Salad fingers? Dude, I love salad fingers. 
I like rusty spoons. I like to touch them with my salad fingers. I love that guy. It's pretty cool. Some kids do community service. Oh, ah, uh, was that? Start with an M. I didn't watch it, but I know someone who did. Um, like miscreants or some shit. There's something like that, right? Uh, one dude gets the ability to sell fingers. It's lovely. Misfits nailed it. Miscreants. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the show. I haven't seen it. But, uh, I've seen parts of it. You know, it used to just be on the pellet one. Venom was interesting. Venom's kind of a fascinating one, so. See, like that, like that is a bit more of a, an interesting angle because, like, what is Venom? He's like some sort of alien parasite, kind of takes control of the mind. You've got this sort of heckle jive, kind of, um, heckle and jive. Love that guy, jive. Yeah, you've got that sort of dynamic going on. Like, it's not a new concept, but it's a it's an old concept with a fresh spin on it. What the fuck was that? That's, you know, that's a bit more interesting than just another dude who can shoot lasers out of his eyes, right? Um, I think I think the issue with modern hero stuff is that they're too... They feel like they don't want to take a risk, you know what I mean? They don't want to come up with, like, a wacky superhero or, like, something that's really out there. So everything is just basically like just another Superman. Um, you got Umbrella Man. I haven't seen Umbrella Attack. That's the one where there's like a chimp guy, right? I don't know. Lots of umbrellas. A little symbiote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he lives inside like Tom Hardy or something, right? like in real life. You enjoy Batman for the same reasons? It's because it's Tom Hardy. You love Tom Hardy. He's your favorite actor, right? You love that guy. Man of few words. Um, I think Tom Hardy has his place in cinema, and it's uh, Mad Max, and that's about it. He did that well, nothing else. Um, oh my fucking god, what is this like gumpy ass fuck section? No, I'm not gonna kill you, Slug, as much as you want me to. Um, I think, like, Venom was an interesting, interesting concept, I think. It's like, it felt. It felt like it wasn't just some dude who has infinite powers or infinite money to make infinite powers. Um, and honestly, okay, I think, here we go. Here, we, here we're going to get meta for a second. It's not really that. Um, I think, even though he was a dislikable asshole, um, Syndrome from... We all know if it's friendly. That's the thing that took down the night sister. Okay. Syndrome from The Incredibles had it right. Because his whole thing was essentially, um, you know, like, we have too many. And I think they did the same thing in the second one. I can't remember the villain's name, but it's all like, all superheroes are the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? That was basically his whole comic thing. Uh, and that everyone can be superheroes if you have enough money. What the fuck? Man, what was in that mushroom? You had an apartment tub? You feel like I'm gonna ride this thing? The so. Bonk. Right, I'm like tripping out, clearly. I'm kinda of basic. You like Wolverine? Why do you like Wolverine? Failing, master. Do you? Megamind? Good. Megamind. No. Let's be real. Let's be real for a second here, Bezos. Megamind was an exemplary commentary on a lot of things. A memeable film, for sure. But Megamind was was so weirdly deep, so profoundly deep in so many weird ways that were completely unexpected for what is essentially a kid's hero film. But it, it like The Incredibles, kind of nails it. Like, it talks about the whole to toxic masculinity shit about, like, Titan, I think his name is, and all that sort of shit. Like, I think the boys is kind of trying to do a bit of the same thing here, like, with, with Captain America, whatever his fucking name is. Uh, I'm not watching it. I, my friend showed me the cock of all scene from season three, and I, I, I tapped out at that point. <laughs> um, but, like, Megamind was strangely good. It was a commentary on a lot of things. It's his dad... Um, Gets his hands dirty, doesn't think. Yeah, so he's a grounded, down-to-earth guy, not delusional. Yeah. 
Uh, cock war? No, no, cock war. Cocks. Um, okay, I did flips. Okay, so my friend was like, hey, you gotta watch this scene. It's a meme, right? No, there's this guy in the boys who can shrink. If anyone has seen the scene, you know what I'm talking about. This is a guy who can shrink. And uh, he's got his, ma his man, he's got his dude. I don't know the context, I don't know who's who, I don't know, you know, whether they're in a relationship or whatever. And his whole thing, yeah, he, he crawls inside the dude's dick. And like, you know, does stuff. But then he sneezes and grows big and blows the guy up from the inside. Um, that, that, I tapped out. Just gotta keep getting back up, BD. Um, I tapped out. And I was like, yep. Uh, this show is pure, purely exists for shock value, uh, and I can't be fucked. Um, watching a show, I didn't get to the orgy scene, no. Um, he also, my friend also showed me some scene in the second season, I think it is, where there's like some Nazi woman who's also like horrendously mutilated and burnt, and she gives Captain America like a hand job or something. Um... And like, and the show just, you know, as intuitive as it may or may not be, the show, it feels like it's just shock value. And that's, um, that's okay. Shock value shows exist for a reason, like Saw and all that stuff. Uh, they just ain't my cup of tea. Uh, as funny as, and, and horrifying as a cock full scene would be. This show sounds terrible. Um, look, I'm, I'm describing two very choice parts of, from what I understand, uh, is a is a rather good show in a lot of ways. Um, I have not seen enough to actually have an opinion on it. Um, so I don't know if anyone in chat has seen it. The prehensile dick. I uh, I just learned the new ability and I've completely forgotten it. Thank you, Tauntless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> yeah, Simon Dullard, we all know this. It's like Family Guy, I don't know. No, I don't think it's like Family Guy. Do you know, like, Invincible? There's that, like, superhero film with, like, Omni-Man and stuff. So that was an interesting take, because that that's a good sort of spin on it. Um, that was a good spin on the whole superhero formula, to a degree. Uh, it's like Invincible, but but, like... Live action and far more um, dark, fucked up. What do you do here? You just get ganked by a bunch of pterosaurs. Um, if someone has seen the boys in chat, like, and you enjoy it, put your reasoning. Uh, not my cup of tea, but I don't. I don't want to be like scaring Beezus off or whatever. If it's actually a show that Beezus might like, and I'm just giving it a real bad rep because I've seen two kind of really context lacking scenes <laughs> um, which otherwise might be spectacular if you understand the backstory uh, it's got what's his face in it, Carl Urban he's a decent actor, I don't mind Carl Urban um, but otherwise yeah I know nothing about it that's where my understanding of the boys comes from and uh, also ends um, alright, we're gonna fuck this pterosaur up. Okay, I just gotta block him. Uh, spectacular PP ball scene. Did you watch Inglorious Bastards? Uh, you know what? Uh, I can see where you're going with this. From the very few scenes I've seen of, um, the boys. Um... I can see where the parallel might be. Let me see. Uh, but there's no cock for in in, uh, in Glorious Bastards. Um uh, as unless there's some extended edition with Brad Pitt. But uh I don't I don't know. But it's yeah, it's that kind of like yeah, I, I see that. I hope that's a good Yeah. Yeah, that's it. This is kinda cool. This is a bit of a nice scene. Um, just have that tree kind of having a moment inside the... You... That's what... Uh, Brad Pitt Cogfall scene, you reckon? Um... 
I'm surprised I made that. Um, am I? Okay, yeah, I'm going up to the top of this. These conveniently placed swinging stone platforms. It's from the Clone Wars. War never ended here. Everything they did, did any of it matter? No, Cal, it didn't. Sorry. Uh, Tarantino has one more movie in him, don't cry yet. Uh, look, I actually don't think I care anymore. Uh, I think Tarantino's done his dash. Uh, I think his films have been... He's peaked, for sure. Probably with Pulp Fiction. Uh, perhaps Glorious Bastards. Both might be his best works. Reservoir Dogs, also good. Uh, I think for the majority of his other stuff, um, eh. 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 Yeah, eh. Uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was kind of shit. Not shit, but um, I found it uninteresting. Uh, may have been well acted, or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't that good. Uh, Django, fairly decent. I didn't watch uh, Hateful Eight or whatever it's called. I just glitched through the walls. You must rewatch his other films. Uh, what's your favorite Tarantino film? I'm a cynical old bastard. You're right. I've, I've become a cynical old bastard. Uh, and I apologize in advance, and also it would have the opposite of the uh, No, I, I, I kind of, I kind of got bored of uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or whatever it was. Uh, the Django had moments, like a lot of good moments in it, uh, but I do definitely feel Tarantino has um, not overstayed his welcome, but uh, definitely overstayed his welcome. Uh, in whatever mirror universe got the Tarantino Star Trek film. Uh, they got the better Tarant Theater, I reckon. Um, it would have been probably kind of wild and wacky and exactly what we needed. Uh, but we didn't get it. Instead we got, uh, Abrams. Um, uh, and Lens Flares. Well, no, it's Tarantino Star Trek. Do you like Star Trek visas? Wow, the one path I could follow conveniently leaded me to the nest of this giant bird. Which BD1 is now gonna. Let's get your favorite Tarantino. That does me just, yeah. Hey, it's okay. He doesn't understand the English, Cal. This guy's got big chicken legs. Cal. Dude's got a fucking piece of the Millennium Falcon stuck in his arm. Anyway. I need to remove it. Um. This is gonna hurt, okay? I don't think the chicken understands, man. But you can try your best. Dude, at least pull it out straight, man. Thanks, BD. I don't know if that's gonna be enough medication to help that thing. I feel like that's gonna be quite small for him. Oh, but so it's just cool, man. Okay. No, you know what? I don't understand it. I think you're right, whoever said we're gonna ride this thing. Um, I think, was that you, Thomas? A Shire bird. It's got three Ys. I like it. We need more words with three Ys, but I think. You used to watch Star Trek? I'm still kind of real into it. Uh, I like it. I like it more than Star Wars. But, uh... Yeah. That's where that story concludes. <laughs> oh, it's just over here now? It took off and did this, like, big, great... They can't tease it like that and not let you? No, Lisa, watch this. It's completely lacking any animation. No, no, okay, it's moving. You're giving us a lift, Lisa. It's the bit you've always dreamed of. The bird somehow understands what we want. And we're having a real, like, sort of avatar moment. Not last airbender, but the one with the blue dudes. The James Cameron one. Flying up on this big beast with the chicken legs. There's still so much the Empire hasn't touched. I mean it's forest though. What what is the Empire gonna do with that? Like build a cabinet? Well, 
Very Jurassic Park music, kind of. I don't know if, I don't know if that's loud enough for you guys. Um, the, hang on, uncooked chicken. Hang on, I've got to allow. Uh, the alien. Wait, what? What are you referring to? Uncooked chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the kind of chicken. Whoops, lol. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, please explain, Lisa. Uh, what the fuck do you mean by this? This is when Lisa just leaves and never, never like explains. No, I haven't, Lisa. Um, but I think I know where this is going because I believe. I, I mean, if it, if it is what I think it is, I believe the inference has been made before. Uh, please explain. In in what am I getting a third lightsaber hilt? No, I'm still this. Doing the dirty with the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. It's not what I was thinking, but it's it's near enough. I was thinking like, okay, so we understand, right? With um, we understand from the film. That the Navi is that the blue dudes, the Navi, their hair thing, you know the little noodly hair thing that they used to like interlock, that's like their sexual organ, right? Um, and so they intermingle, and that's like you know they they that's how they sort of couple. But then they also do that to animals and trees, um, and they sort of hijack their minds with their. Um, Navi knobs, uh, and that's that's where I thought that was going to, because that's kind of weird when you think about it. I found my quarry. Um, the Astrium. I'll leave you with that thought. Goodbye. Very odd way that would surely be roasted for me. Yes. Yes. I think I understand. <laughs> um, I need some water. You guys excited for any films coming out recently? Or have you seen any recent films? Or are you excited for the new Avatar film? Anything moving on? Yeah. <laughs> How's the weather? Um, probably not dissimilar to what you're experiencing. Uh, I'd rather watch The Last Airbender. The, the, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, um, real life, real action, live action one? Yeah. That's it. Um, I saw, we saw the Elvis film recently. That was kind of cool. Hot. Uh, just like you, Jesus. I, I think. I don't know. I don't know what you look like. <laughs> so I try the Harry Potter open world. Uh, yeah, I see some people being hyped up for that. You can't play Quidditch in it. Absolutely, the live action film? Yeah, you're talking about it. No, don't shoot the boy. Alright, boss fight with Ninth Sister, let's go. Yeah, there she is. Found you again! You're done hurting this world. I don't know what's got second sister thinking you're so important. She likes her souvenirs, but I'm not in it for the memories, and honestly, you're not worth my time. Dude, she got a robot let's foot. Make this quick. Yes, straight to business. What I like. Um, surely they'll patch it? Jesus Christ, she hits like a fucking sledgehammer. That's what they call me. Okay, uh... No, I, I just don't think it's a thing that they're putting in the game. Um. Yo, limber. <laughs> yeah. Um. Excuse me? How they? Yo. She's juicing me. She's juicing me right now. Alright, I've cracked her hat. Okay. Game over. Her hat's cracked. 
Not bad for trash. Wow. What about for a Jedi? What kind of a time was that? Say she she just dismantled me badly. Oh hell yeah. Double blade time? Let's go. You. You're not the only one with a double blade. Oh fuck, she's wrecking me. Okay, hang on. Change tactics, change tactics. Single blade, single blade. Yo. Oh, dude, she just fucking yeeted me with a stick. Um, yeah, a lot of people are hyped though. Man, aren't they? Um, I can see why it would be good, a Harry Potter open world. Uh, I don't know if it's my jam. I, I've kind of gone off of Harry. Uh, she's wonderful control. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna wreck me, dude. I have, like, no health. Yo. Whoa, even in slow motion, she out jumps me. Nah, that's it. GG. She must be Australian. Yeah, she's, she's built like a brick shit at this one. I believe in you. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'll try it again. And if I fail, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, but tomorrow we're playing Cult of the Lamb. Lemon is playing Cult of the Lamb. I don't know if that's your jam. Cult of the Lamb. She's playing, I'm watching. From the side. You can join our cult. It's kind of cute. Um, oh, there she is, all ready to go. I'll just like get in there quick and just give her the old rat-a-tat-tat motherfucker. Yup. Um, it's alright, I got this. I got this system. I know I stretch. Uh, good night, Hyper. Thanks for tuning in, my guy. It's always a pleasure. Hope you are well. Uh, and all that jazz. Yup. She, she's barely hit me so far. That's okay. Oh, there she goes. Spoke this. Alright, uh, she gonna bust out a double blade soon? Oh, okay. I gotta dodge later on that one. Oh, there's the double blade. Quick time, quick time, quick time. Oh, man, that's gonna kick fucking me up. I don't know how to dodge that yet. Can I get like a- Oh god, damn it. This isn't- this isn't easy, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't planning on it. Yo, what the hell? She's ground pounding me. Quick time, mommy. She's strong. You be strong. Oh. Okay. Unless she busts out some other unexpected dance move, uh, I should be alright. I'm loving it. Thank you. Focus mode, focus mode. I can't do this. I can't die. Yo! Alright. She almost dead. She almost dead. Yo! Dual wheel, double side, late lightsaber over. Don't get greedy, don't get greedy. I'm not getting greedy. Oh fuck. I thought I jumped that. It's bollocks. Yep. She's locked. Finally. Bit of, a bit of limb detachment. Finally. After uh, like three quarters of the way through the game. Being an inquisitor taught 
me no sense. Oh, fuck off. When you've already lost yourself, she's a limb's easy. No, you know, I was a Jedi. No, 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 watch out to bring you in. Watch you, just like the rest of us. Fuck. Angers you. Just wait till the isolation. Okay, hopefully, there's just a cutscene because I did not have the health for a second fight. She is a bit terrifying, actually. I can stop you. Yo, spine tap. Through the trees. That's not the last we're seeing of her, I promise you. I, mean, I don't actually know. Beep beep boop. You just took down an inquisitor. I don't know if you did, man. Brianna of Tarth? Is that what she's called? What the fuck? You you, where'd you come from? What is Brian of Tough? Glad you're okay. Yep, you big flesh bird. See your ingredients. Flesh bird. Okay. Well, we took out the ninth sister. Where are the other eight? Um. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit back here. And uh, big knight got uh the big knight. In Game of Thrones. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen Game of Thrones. Um, so yes, probably. So probably. Um, it's not phase, but he did a little push and she's down. Well, he also kind of stabbed her in the spine. Uh, but she did was running at that point. But who knows? Maybe she got pushed off the edge of a cliff. But you know, uh, that happens a lot in Star Wars, and people just happen to get back up. I don't think that's the end of the Ninth Sister. I'm gonna find someone to raid. So I'm tapping out. Um, thank you all for tuning in and listening to my obscene rants. Oh, I didn't even, yeah, okay. Yeah, my obscene rants about, um, Rings of Power and, uh, Marvel, um, and various other things among, among that. Um, let's see if there's anyone, uh, doing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, anyone, anyone cool? Uh, that dude has a gif for his, uh, icon. That's kind of whack. Um, what's, uh, what's our mate Bort doing these days? He's doing a cooking stream. He's got guests. Yeah, we're going to raid Bort. We love Bort. Uh, some of you guys might know Bort. Some of you guys might not know Bort. Um, Bort is Bort. Honestly, that's all you need to know. Um, here's our raid messages, if you want to do that. Uh, Discord, socials, etc. Tune in on those things. We're streaming again tomorrow, Cold the Lamb. All that shit. Ford is an Aussie streamer, he's from Melbourne, I believe. Uh, he's cracked. Usually he plays a lot of, uh, um, like Apex and stuff, I think. Um, but, uh, he's doing a cooking stream right now, and he's got, like, four people with him. It looks like they've made an absolute feast. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so we're gonna go and raid him. Uh, unfortunately, the no, 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 no. This is step one of planning, Beezus. Uh I'll make a channel on the Discord. We can just do, we can we can figure it out and write the script up, uh, and we can send that into what director? Um, I would say Wes Anderson, if I'm honest. Um, all right, we're going to send, send you over to Bort. Uh, thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, love your work. Love your twerk. Have a good one. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow for game. Goodbye.